Picture this. A black girl says a man abused and trafficked her starting when she was only 16 years old. Police arrest the man, charging him with abusing several young black girls, including victims as young as 12. He is released without bail, and four months later, the now 17-year-old victim, victim pupus and unalives him. What would you see as justice in such a case? Free the trafficking victim because she fought back against her abuser, sentence her to decades in prison. Whatever you think is the right answer, you probably won't land where the judge in this case did. On Monday, a Wisconsin judge sentenced Crystal Kaiser, now 24, to 11 years in prison, prison for reckless homicide in the 2018 pupuing death of Randall Volar, 34. Given the abuse and trauma that Kaiser said she suffered because of Olar, the sentencing seems extreme, even though it's far less than 30-year maximum. Kaiser's case raises questions about immunity and plea deals, justice and homicide, race and gender. If Kaiser is the victim, did she get justice? If Voller is the victim, did he? A lot is going on in this story, but little of it has to do with justice. Police already were investigating Voller for <clears throat> abuse of adolescent girls when Kaiser says he was contact when he says he contacted her through a website where she was advertising for money. Kaiser says she peddled to help feed her siblings. Kaiser says he abused and trafficked her, even video recording himself abusing her. In early 2018, after police found evidence that Volar had abused underage girls, he was arrested, charged, and released without bail. In 2018, Kaiser says Volar tried to abuse her again, but the 17-year-old had reached a breaking point. She pew-pewed and unalived Volar. She then set his house on fire and stole his car. Kaiser was arrested and charged with first-degree intentional homicide, arson, and car theft. This May, she pleaded to second-degree second reckless homicide to avoid the possibility of even more severe sentence. She also admitted to wrongdoing. I don't know where to start, but I'm asking for your generosity in my sentence today. I understand that I committed sins that put the Voller family in a lot of pain. In sentencing her, Kenosha County Judge David... Kenosha County? Judge David Wilk acknowledged the abuse she suffered but not but did not think it justified unaliving voler i want to pause and just bring up the cop the police officer that into the car of the pregnant woman who had shoplifted just want to throw that out there about how <clears throat> what life you know what life we value and when we choose to value it the court is well aware of your circumstances surrounding your relationship with Mr. Voller. You are not permitted to be the instrument of his reckoning. To hold otherwise is to endorse a descent into lawlessness and chaos. They always do that, don't they? Law and order was created to protect the elite. Let's be real. Okay. Do trafficking victims have a right to immunity for crimes they committed while suffering from the extreme fear and coercion that often come from being forced to have <clears throat> with strangers? According to laws in Wisconsin and other states, they do. Kaiser's attorneys argued she couldn't be held crim criminally, criminally liable for Volar's death under a 2008 Wisconsin law that exempts victims of offenses committed as a direct result of trafficking. But Judge Will said Kaiser had abandoned that claim and sought clemency after pleading guilty to reckless homicide. This is a story of a failed justice system, yes. There should be justice for there should be justice for a homicide victim. But there should also be also be justice for victims of trafficking who are trying to flee a life of abuse. This is what Wisconsin's 2008 trafficking law is supposed to be about. I'm curious about what the judge would have had Kaiser do, knowing the system had failed her by allowing Volar to be released without bail and return to abuse her. Should she have gone to police and risk retribution from Volar? Should she remain and make the best of it despite the abuse? A gut-wrenching 2022 documentary, The State of Alabama vs. Brittany Smith, shows that when it comes to self-defense and abuse, laws are often skewed by gender. The Netflix documentary reports that the most extensive study of Stand Your Ground cases found that women were twice as likely to be convicted as men when claiming self-defense in their homes. That is horrifying for women trying to escape an abusive dynamic and renders the law virtually useless in these circumstances. 
Kaiser's ordeal is similar to that to a case that unfolded in Tennessee. I talked about Centoy Brown not too long ago. She was 16 when she unalived Jeremy Allen in 2004. Allen had paid to have with Brown, and she pew-pewed and unalived him because she thought he was pulling a gun on her, pulling a pew-pew on her. Brown, also African-American, was sentenced to life in prison for MURDR and robbery. After years of public outcry, including appeals from celebrities, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam commuted her sentence. She was released in 2019. The, there's, there's Sintoy, she's so cute. Um, the facts of Kaiser's case and sentencing raise uncomfortable. I didn't mean that. I, I just really think she is cute. I, I know she's, okay, I hope that. What if Kaiser were a man? What if she were, would the sentence be the same? Is our justice, justice system truly blind to race, age, and gender? Why did she feel she had to turn to, to feed her siblings? I was just thinking about that the whole time. Like this, when she was apologizing, thinking about the systems and what drove her, how we all suffer under them. <sighs> Given the circumstances, it's hard, it's hard to see how this warrants an 11-year prison sentence. Our criminal justice system sends mixed messages to victims. Sex trafficking is an egregious crime, and the government clearly has a vital responsibility to track down sex traffickers and protect their victims. When a woman reacts in self-defense to abuse, or why is she suddenly seen as a perpetrator? who exacted vigilante justice on her abuser. Kaiser Sinex ignores the right to self-defense and the immunity supposedly granted to victims who act to protect themselves. I really hope we start valuing humans and, and life. Don't forget to hit those buttons over there. I hope your day doesn't suck. Okay, love y'all, bye. I, and I meant that in the way of like, she should have never been in that position in the first place. Love you all.